pregnant. <laughs> get more pregnant? <laughs> Author of the F Factor Diet Nutritionist, Tanya Zucker Brat. So if you don't want to get pregnant, maybe you want to stay away from these foods. Yeah. But if you do want to get pregnant, you got to stay away from the caffeine. You do. They recommend no more than 300 milligrams of caffeine a day, so no more than a cup of coffee. But on the flip, because it, it, for, it reduces fertility in women, on the flip side, caffeine increases sperm motility for guys. So ladies, order your coffee decaf and get him a double espresso. Well, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Trans oh fat, that seems obvious. We should avoid that. Yeah. They, the studies show that more than 4.5 grams of trans fat a day may decrease fertility, which is about one Krispy Kreme donut. Avoid the processed foods like cookies and chips and, and read the labels. It will show you how much trans fat is in there. You know, I see you, fish sounds so healthy. Yeah, fish is healthy because of the omega-3s, but too much mercury is actually toxic to the body. Sa salmon has mercury, doesn't it? Yeah, and other fishes are shark and tilefish and swordfish. You want to, you know, limit those Avoid as well. the tilefish, people. <laughs> exactly. Huh. Wow. Very popular you item. Know, uh, you mentioned <laughs> processed foods, but processed foods a lot of times create insulin. Right, and you want to be careful. What the study revealed is that foods that have a high glycemic load that lack fiber, that are simple carbs, refined carbs, actually decrease fertility. So mm. you want to go for more whole foods, natural foods, yeah. we know that you vegetables. Should, yeah. We know that you should be drinking and boozing it up while you're pregnant, but before you're pregnant, if you want to get pregnant, yeah, you also want to cut that out. Yeah, you want to limit your alcohol consumption. What do you mean limit? I would say no more. Wow. No more oh, than. I'm just curious. No more than. No more than hey, one glass Julia a day. And if, you know, if you really want to be proactive, you know, you should cut out alcohol completely. If you're having trouble getting pregnant, it, it's definitely. But a lot of time, right. alcohol leads to pregnancy. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's get into some things that are a positive approach here. Yeah. How about a lot of dairy? Does that help? Yeah. No. Get this pregnant? is a new study that they show that high-fat dairy actually increases fertility better than low-fat dairy products. So it's an excuse for ladies, you know, to add maybe half a cup of whole-fat ice cream. Not every oh, day, yeah. but <laughs> a little. And maybe switch the skim milk for a whole fat milk. Yeah. What about iron? That's important, obviously. How do you get iron? Oh, you can get it from a supplement. And studies show that women who take supplements, an iron supplement, have a 40% increased chance of getting pregnant. But there's also iron in foods such as raisin bran sure. and almonds and spinach, all good sources of, of iron. I mean, some of these suggestions seem pretty obvious. You want to go for the whole grains, not the white mm -hmm. bread. You want right. to go for um, um, fresh fruits and vegetables. Right. I mean, if, if you want to shop the perimeter of the supermarket, fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, except a few full-fat dairy, you know, studies show are good. High in monounsaturated fats and stay away from the processed junk. Another. Mm. <laughs> you know what? I did that. Because well, we're done. <laughs> uh, Tanya, thank you very much for being here. Great tip. Thanks, Tanya. For more on fertility and ways to help you get pregnant, go to mnjshow.com. We're coming right back. Excited?